Good morning. Are you ready to get started with today's latch bar workout? Well, we're gonna get started right away. You know what we have here is a resistance band attachment apparatus. Not only can you attach resistance bands, but you can attach straps and also chains. So, you're familiar with our components. All the flat pieces are called flat latch bars and the round pieces are called round latch bars. There are three components. There's a single, basic, deluxe. Additionally, there's a 44 inch for squats and there's a sit on or lay on to do presses, curls, whatever you would like while sitting. So I'm gonna get started as we usually do. Get down on the floor and we're gonna do our sit-ups. So I want you to join me, put your music on and let's do some sit-ups. Topic of the day, workout. So we did our initial sit-ups. Now we're going into crunches. In order to do the crunch, we want to scoot our body forward so that we can raise our knees and lie back and get started. Okay, that's our 25. Now you don't have to do 25 if you're not able to do 25, do what you can do. And work your way up. Because remember, this apparatus will help strengthen your abs and your biceps. Probably a little more too, but those are the main targets. We grab our grip handles and then we're getting ready to do our stretch. Pull those legs back, lock your knees, or vice versa. Lock your knees, pull your legs back, and hold it there. Bring your legs down, pull your feet in towards your buttocks, listen to those knees crack, and hold it there for a second or two. You might want to stretch your knees back out once again. Now bring your legs down, hold on to your hand grips. Push your legs forward like that, and you'll come up to a sit up position. Now we want to grab our straps 
the long set once again. Lay it back down. Six inches up. And hold it there. Don't forget to breathe while you're doing this. There's no need to hold your breath. We got 30 seconds working. We're going for 60 seconds. You might feel your legs tremble a little bit, but that's all right. Sixty seconds. Now, once again, you can either do pull yourself up like this. Remember to keep your arms straight or, or curled so that you can get up. You'll find that after you do that exercise enough, you'll be able to bend over <clears throat> better than you thought you could. Now we're going to reach over as we lay here and get our basic latch bar with the chain attachment. And we are going to do our push-pull isometric. And remember, any exercise that you do, if you cheat while you're doing it, you're just cheating yourself. You're not cheating anyone else. You're not in school anymore. So you got to be serious about what you're doing. Make sure the latch bar is placed in the right position on your feet. Lay back. Push out with your feet and resist with your arms. And when you pull in with your arms, apply resistance with your legs. That'll wake the body up. Very good. Okay, now we're going to move back a little. And we're going to grab the lay on or sit on latch bar. Now this latch bar is equipped with tubular resistance bands. As you can see, <coughs> we have more than enough clearance in order to lay on it and then maneuver it into the right position. You want to make sure that it's below your shoulder blades and not just your shoulders, because if it's at your shoulders, it may pop up and hit you in the back of the head. You don't want that to happen, obviously. And also, you can place this bottom bar in between or under your mat, if that makes you feel more comfortable.
Now, I had said I would set up a flat resistance band to show you that we can use any type of resistance band to do that. So here we have a flat resistance band. All set up to do the same thing. But what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to place it underneath, underneath the mat, which I have a double mat here because I have a bad back. No excuses. Still have to work out. So as you can see, it's underneath the mat. And we can do the same exact exercise. Lower it slowly. Place it back over your head. And you're done. I'm going to leave that one in place so that we can also use it on our next set. I like to do two sets of the floor exercise and most of the other ones too. So here we have the flat latch bar, our flat resistance bands. Once again, and I'm doing an isometric as I extend it completely and hold it there. That's good for your, for your chest and your back muscles. You could do it behind your head if you like, however you want to do it. The main thing is just getting it done. That's what's most important here, getting things done. So let's grab our mat once again. Well, we're gonna leave the mat, that mat. That's in a good place. That protects me. We're going to grab another one so we can get on the floor once again to complete our crunches. All we're trying to get, all we're trying to get is some exercise. Just tone up and keep our level of strength up. You guys and gals who just started out working out, I encourage you to use resistance bands. Don't use weights. You know, if you're not born to be muscular and have huge arms and huge biceps and, and all of that, if you're not born to have it, you won't have it. You can make yourself strong and you can, you can, you can actually cut yourself. You can actually tone yourself up by using 
weights or resistance band. But you're not gonna bulk up. Once you're 35 plus, forget about that. You're an adult. You need to address it in that mannerism. You're not going to be juicing it. You're not gonna be drinking all these shakes to bulk up and put on 100 pounds. That's only gonna make you sick later, trust me. guys to imagine a, a, a little guy being as strong as you are just because you look so much more powerful but that's the way it is that's all genetics So, you know, you need to come on my side. You know, once you hit that magic number, I would say it's probably around 35. And some of you young boys, you can work out with this equipment. It's good for you. It'll keep you strong. But I know a lot of you bigger guys, you tend to want to work out using weights and that's okay. Sooner or later, those weights are going to become too much though. And you're going to need to work out with something that's going to keep you healthy. Resistance bands is the answer. And using my resistance band attachment will help you do amazing Workouts. Just like you see me doing. It'll help keep you strong. Help keep you, get you in shape. Help keep you in shape as long as you work out. If you don't work out, like I said, you gain weight and your health will deteriorate as you get older. Come on my side and start using the latch bar attachment apparatus to do your resistance band workouts. you see that your workout will become much more effective. I did that the wrong way, sorry. That's what I was thinking of there. Okay. <coughs> now we're ready for our press sitting position and of course we're using tubular bands as you can see
And these are extreme resistance bands. So they are no joke. When you use them, they have an awful lot of tension. Some of the flat bands, the larger ones, they too have an awful lot of tension. But most of them that are very wide are used for chin-ups. But if you're strong enough, you can also use them in the same mannerism as we're using these. You gotta apply the strength to get it to move. As you can see, you have to exert yourself. Now, while we're sitting here, I'm taking the opportunity to uh, attach, to set up our ankle attachment for both sides. Using the ankle attachment, there's a number of ways you can you can use it. You can use it as I'm going to show you at the moment. I'll show you the other method that is also used. You can extend yourself on the bench, hold on to the bench, front or back, and you can kick your legs out like this, and do it for a time period, like 30 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever. But you want to do it and you'll feel your thigh muscles start to call your name. <laughs> Trust me, my thigh muscles are burning right now. Right up here, right on the top. So the further you move out, the more resistance you can apply. I mean, the more difficult it becomes. So you will need to hold on a bit and do the same thing. So that's one method. I'm not sure if I can yeah, I guess I can. I can stand it up and I'll place this over here and I'm going to spin that around, spin it around so it's now in the front and we can now pull our legs towards us, like this. And it feels like I'm trying to make a muscle in my hamstring, all right? So you go from the front of your upper, of your thigh to the back, right here, your hamstring. And boy, do I feel that. And you can, of course, make it less resistance if you so desire. I have these set up so that it's more, more resistance because they are doubled. The resistance bands are doubled. They're folded in half, in other words. So if you had them totally stretched out so that there's one sec, it would have much less resistance. Okay. Let me put the bench back in place. 
And we're going to grab the other set of flat resistance bands. And we're going to do our pulls on this. I'm going to just move over enough so you can see the resistance bands there stretch. And I'm still in the picture at this point. Excuse my back. But I am doing a pull of the resistance bands and I'm working out my entire arm. And there's multiple ways of doing it. You can stand in front and you can just use your arms and pull back. Pull out to the side. Pull up. Turn around and do the same thing. That, in fact, you have an extra one. You can do the throw the punch mode. That's what it looks like in the opposite direction. Like you're throwing a punch. And if you want to do it really aggressive, think of someone that you're upset with and throw punches at them. But yes, as they pull your arms forward, this is all good for you. See, I don't want to just show you. I want to also get a workout in too. <coughs> I, like to, I like to have some benefits myself. So, we're going to get some cardio in. We're going to use our bands. Untang untangle them. And we're going to put them around our body. Yes, indeed. Put one around our waist and one around our chest. We're going to lean forward and let's jog. Let's run in place for about a minute or so. You're trying to create that cardio effect. Since you're not outside, you can run inside with resistance. And you'll get an awful lot out of it. That's right. Get that blood to circulating. This helps your cholesterol. Help, help to make it go away or help bring your cholesterol level down. Any type of cardio will help do that. Well, we got about a minute and a half going. But you get what I mean. Get that cardio in. All 
That does some more pulls. Pulls, pulls, pulls. Using our attachment with flat resistance bands, Iron Core Fitness. How about a press? This is kind of a multitask setup. So you could do a press. You can do squats. You can do curls. Going back to the floor, going back to our core, okay? Our core is the most important part of our exercise, our abs. We eat food all day, and the digestive system is overloaded. So when your digestive system is overloaded, those calories remain with you and turn into pounds. So you wanna help your core burn off some of those calories that you're putting into your stomach every day. And that's what we're doing when we're working our core, our abs. So, so let's get busy. <laughs> That's right, we want to burn calories. That's why working on, on our core is so important. But everything else is important too. So that's why you just witnessed a full body workout.
Keep those legs straight, pull their legs. Keep your knees locked and pull your legs back as far as you can. Keep those knees locked. Okay. Now pull your knees, pull your feet towards your buttocks. Hear those knees crack. Get that air out of there, out of that joint. Okay. trying to use the shorter straps to do the six inches up, but they are much too short. They wouldn't allow me to lay them all the way back. And they shouldn't because they are to do, to do crunches with six inches up and hold it there. We're going to do 30 seconds. That's it. Have a good day, though. I got a nice little sweat going on over here. Nice little sweat. That's right, we're gonna do the push and pull resistance, body resistant, isometric. In order to match this one, I probably, the, the tension, I probably need to change the red one, the yellow ones, to the red ones. And I'll probably gonna need a comparable amount of tension because there's a lot of tension 
on this one. And the reason is because these are medium resistance bands and the yellow resistance bands are small resistance bands. Either way, can do, can do a good workout. That's what you're looking to accomplish. A good workout. More crunches. You can do it if you want to. That's the way I look at it. Now before we sit back down, everybody knows that you can use bands like this to do crunches by holding it and doing a crunch. For the most part, for me, that's unorthodox as it relates to my coordination. You probably feel the same way. That's why we have the latch bar attachment system. Just want to demonstrate that, just for a second. I'm not trying to rub anyone the wrong way. I just want to bring it to your attention because I, I would probably forget otherwise. So we want to try and be as consistent to what we can relate to as exercise. And I'm only trying to provide the method that's normal for us. Not trying to invent or reinvent the wheel. Exercise is exercise. And that's all it is to it. It's wonderful. I know a lot of you don't have time to do as much workout as you'd like to, but when you have the opportunity, try and motivate yourself to work out. The last one, exercise system is portable as you can see. You can take this anywhere. The only thing you can't take anywhere is this. But you can mount 
any latch bar anywhere. And you can paint it to your decoration so that it's not noticeable. You can put it on a door molding, on a closet, vertically. You can put it horizontal, across the molding at the top of the door. You can put it in the middle of the door. You don't need to use a deluxe. You can use the basic and mount it just as well and get the same amount of return out of it, just as much as you would get out of this. So that's what you want to keep in mind. That's what you want to do. And trust me, you'd be able to do just as much as you see me doing. You could just about turn any room or even any large hallway into your own gym. Exactly. All you need are these components, a floor mat and a mat to lay on. Those mats is six feet by two feet wide. That's really the only space that you need. Your bench, if you're using a bench, could go across your mat. If you're not using a bench, you can use a fold-up chair and accomplish the same exact thing. Or you can just stand up and lay down. Stand up, lay down. That's how you do it. You don't need any elaborate setup. I have this set up as it is because this is a studio. It is a demonstration studio. I am trying to demonstrate to you the advantages of using the latch bar attachment system. I am trying to get in a daily workout so that you can participate in a daily workout with me. I am trying to show you techniques of how to use resistance bands, straps, chains, what have you with the latch bar attachment system so that you can generate or conduct an efficient exercise just as you see me doing. You can do the same. We have the squat bar here. And I know we're coming towards the end of our daily exercise because remember we can't go over 60 minutes because I won't be able to post it and that won't, that won't be a good thing. I would be able to post it only on YouTube and nowhere else. So, we're coming towards the end, but this is our illustrious squat bar that you would be able only to do squats with. You cannot do curls with this because of the amount of resistance that I have applied to it. This is our basic, our basic latch bar, set up with some, with some extreme resistance product. They set up to do pulls.
Okay. Outside curl. Outside crunch. So outside curl, I said side crunch. Let's keep it even, make the other side, do the other side the same. to conclude our daily workout and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you.